Every now and then, my clients want me to implement a card-based layout for a list of posts, reports or real estates. In this layout, each card has an image, heading and some text. This looks perfect on the designs, where the text is the same size on all cards. However, when the real content comes in, usually the design gets broken and each card has a different size. In this video, I will show you an idea how to limit the number of lines of text using exclusively CSS. For that, we will use a line clamp CSS property. Hello and welcome! Thank you for coming and joining me in this video. My name is Artur and here at my channel I'm challenging you with various web dev ideas. From time to time, my clients ask me to implement a card-based layout for them. The problem with that is that we want each card to be the same size, but the length of content is usually different for each card. There are a few options how to fix that. The backend can generate a shortened summary of the text. If that's not an option, JavaScript can be used to limit the size of the paragraph. However, in this video, we will use a WebKit line clamp CSS property, which is currently implemented in all major browsers. Let's jump right into the code. So here's my index.html file, and in here I have some heading and some intro. But what is most interesting for me is the section called cards. In this section, I will have a various number of cards. Each card is an article with class card. And here I have an ing for the image. I have h2 for the title of this card, and then I have paragraph of a summary. Finally, I have a link. Here are some dummy texts from Cupcake Ipsum, and they have various length. If now I open the preview, you can see how it looks more or less. So here is some text, and there are three lines, and here are more lines, and here are a little bit less lines. So it's looking good when it's top bottom, but when I will make the screen a little bit wider, you can see now, it displays three in a line and each text is different size so each card is different as well what is even worse i have more than three of those so here i have a huge chunk of white space waiting for the next row of items so we will fix that so let's go to our less file and actually we will be using just css rules in here we will use a feature called line lamp and here we can specify the number of lines that will be visible in here. This is this paragraph that we will be limiting. So let's set it to five. Uh, however, it would be beautiful if it worked. However, it's not fully implemented yet. So instead, we need to use a prefix, WebKit. Let's check this property on MDN. So that's the WebKit line clamp. And this property allows limiting the contents of a block to the specified number of lines. What is important, in order for it to work, we need to set the display property to WebKit box, and we need to set the WebKit box orient property to vertical. So let's do it now. So I am setting display to WebKit box, and then I'm setting the WebKit box orient. And I'm setting it to vertical. Finally, I want to hide the overflow. So overflow hidden. I will save and refresh. And look, everywhere now I have five lines. So these boxes have the equal size. If the text is too long, I have three dots at the end. So that's ellipsis. One important thing to note is if I set this, for example, to 20 lines and save and here I will refresh, well, this is not long enough and this one isn't long enough. Only this one is long enough to get clamped. So again, I have various sizes in here. So if you know that you will have various sizes of the text and you might have very short text in here, you might want to do something to prevent that. So for example, we can set the mean height of paragraph to be at least, for example, we have 20 lines, so let's set it 20 M and save and refresh. Almost, let's make it 21 maybe. Save and refresh. And nope, 22, save and refresh. 
24. Look, every box is the same size, even if it is not filled fully. But right now we don't need that, so let's get back to just five lines and save and refresh in here. Finally, let's do some testing in browsers. So that's Edge and it's working just fine. Six cards and each card has five lines in here. Chrome, again, we have six boxes and every box is limited and the same with Firefox. So hopefully soon we will be able also to avoid adding those WebKit prefixes. But for now, it's good enough. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that this idea will let you create card-based layouts easily. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe. Please let me know in the comments down below what other ideas and challenges you would like to see here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.